Hi, my name is Doug DeWitt, and I'm uh, doing this video essay of the uh, North Raven River to make uh, anybody I can aware of the plight of the river. 45 years ago, uh, some very wise uh, government biologists saw that this river was in need of a lot of work and needed to be saved to save the brown trout. And uh, they went ahead and created the first buck for wildlife project in Alberta. Albertans spent uh, millions of dollars uh, on this, I think it's 17 kilometers of creek from Highway 761 upstream to the Butte Hall where uh, the springs come out of the ground and uh, this creek begins. Uh, you can see behind me, there's a section that we narrowed uh, about uh, 40 years ago and, uh, and you never know that we uh, have a whole bunch of logs buried underneath that bank and uh, but they're there and we, we managed to narrow the creek. This work was done over a period of uh, about 10 years. Uh, right now the creek's in peril again. The government committed uh, in writing to maintain the perimeter fencing to keep the cows out and to uh, do something about the uh, controlling the beavers because they do a lot of damage on this creek. It's low gradient, it very seldom floods uh, and the beaver dams never seem to get washed out. So beavers and fencing is the problem on the North Raven. Uh, the uh, Alberta Conservation Association, the ACA, uh, took over management of the buck for wildlife in, I believe, 1997. Uh, by 2003, they decided to abandon the fencing uh, maintenance because they thought it cost too much money. Uh, uh, by 2010, they were issuing edicts, breaking the contract they had with uh, various landowners along the uh, this body of water. The, uh, the landowners are, are great people. They're, they're hardworking farmers and ranchers. They're stewards of the land and they really care. And that's why I'm out here trying to support them. I know all of them from uh, this, this uh, Highway 761 up to the headwaters. And uh, they really do care. Watch the video. There's all kinds of examples. We're talking about making sure we don't ruin the best stream, uh, pardon me, Spring Creek in Canada, and one of the best in North America. This place has trout up to 30 inches. I'll show you an example in a still of a 25 inch that I caught last week, managed to land uh, last week. You can catch lots of fish in here. Very seldom you can land them. Uh, hope you pass this to everybody you know, whether they're a fisherman, conservationist, whatever. We need to embarrass the government into getting something done. Thanks. This is one of the signs that the uh, ACA has uh, put up uh, along the North Raven River. I think they've uh, spent more money on the signs than they have on actually doing anything on the creek. And uh, then they have a, a little map that's along here and it, uh, and it shows uh, the conservation area. And uh, right now we're where it says Highway 761 and the parking lot. So this is a, a picture of a dam that's about oh, 20 meters above the Highway 761 bridge. The, uh, the trappers are supposed to be out here this week, uh, removing all these dams and the beavers that go with them. And they, they did not a bad job here. You can see it's, uh, it's taken out in the middle and not on the sides. If you take it out on the sides, it, it tends to cause uh, bank erosion, siltation, stream widening, all the stuff that's uh, bad for the creek. This is these crossing styles that the ACA has uh, built to uh, get from a parking position onto the uh, inside of the fence uh, and so you can access the creek. Um, Try to encourage them not to do this, to build Y gates instead, which don't require much maintenance. And uh, as you can see, this fence here, uh, no one's using the crossing. 
because uh, there's nothing left of this fence. Uh, this, uh, it's, it's down, it's out. Yeah, and as you can uh, hear, vehicle coming by. I'm right on uh, Highway 761. This is a, a cattle crossing watering site, and it's actually the closest one on the upstream side of uh, Highway 761. You, you can see that there is no gravel or anything uh, here. Uh, there's a wallow on the, on the other side. Uh, the, the cows can get through there this year. Uh, last year they couldn't. They had, to, they had to water about 60 feet off the creek, which can be a good thing at times, but not when it's this bad. Uh, as you look down, you can see that uh, this is all silted in. There's still some rock here as you uh, come up the side. You can see that it's just a little few big rocks and, and mud and muck. Again, stuff that causes siltation. This fence, which is designed to uh, be the perimeter fence to so keep the cows off the riparian zone. You can see it's totally overgrown. And uh, that is supposed to be a place where fishermen can cross. They, uh, yeah, good luck with that. And uh, you look back up, this thing hasn't had any cows across it because it's kind of dangerous to bring his cows across right now. And there's the other uh, fisherman crossing point on the other side. Uh, here we have a beaver dam on uh, the North Raven. And uh, it's not too bad yet. It's only uh, backing up the creek about two feet. Uh, unfortunately, though, there's a cattle crossing just above this that's still in active use because it's only September. So this is the cattle crossing uh, that's uh, just above the beaver dam. And as you can see, it's uh, probably up six inches to a foot from where it should be. And uh, as we come over to this side, you can see what's gonna happen as the cows get in here. And uh, the dam gets up uh, another two feet. Of course, this is gonna be way back here and it's gonna be a mess. And the cows are gonna have trouble crossing and they're gonna bring in a lot of silt into the river. So uh, beaver management, big problem. Can you, if you can see in the middle of the creek here, it's actually got some pretty good uh, pit run in there and it has been a good crossing in the past, uh, but if it gets flooded, it won't be. So I'm standing on the landowner side of the fence and as you can see it's uh, fairly clear uh, there's some stuff a little bit of stuff nothing serious nothing cows won't eat and we get the, we look at the other side and right here you can't even find the fence because of the brush that's growing up from the other side the other side is the responsibility of the ACA and of course they've uh, deemed it they're really not responsible they take the credit for all the work that was done on the North Raven River and they really haven't done anything, not for 25 years. So there's a problem out in this area, Stauffer area with uh, rural crime. Uh, the landowner behind me doesn't keep diesel fuel at his facility anymore. And this landowner has put up this huge gate locked uh, to keep out undesirables. Here we have a, a fence that the, the landowners have built between their uh, two properties. And uh, wow, look at that, eh? Steel posts to anchor the hill. They put in a little gate for fishermen to cross. There's the old uh, gate built by Bucks for Wildlife, maintained by the ACA. And you can see the landowner. You can make out how he went down the hill and, and refenced. And of course, as we swing around, we get to the ACA uh, side of the fence. And uh, as we can see, uh, more fencing being destroyed by growth of the riparian zone. Good job, ACA.